What's up and welcome to week four of season five of the Southern Nation League. This is going to be game three against the Goblins, sponsored by Zane the Realtor versus the Ghost Riders, sponsored by One Hop to Shop. This is going to be a good one, man. I'm telling you. Oh, I agree. This could be the game of the day. We said that about the last one, but mm -hmm. this one's also got the potential to be the game of the day. Oh, yeah. I feel like the rest of these could be. Well, we have what's perceived to be the best team in the league, I think, in the 3-0 Goblins. And the team with by far the best jersey in the league, the Ghost Riders. Something's got to give. The team record or team jersey? I absolutely love the Ghost Riders jerseys, bro. It's it's awesome. My favorite color is red, anyways. So just having like that red, orange, black is just awesome. Man. I, I am uh, I'm, I'm partial to the Goblins right now. Uh, to be honest, you're gonna you might not you might not agree, but I actually like the green. I've always been a fan of those green. You know the neon green jerseys for the Seahawks, the color rush ones, the color rush jerseys. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I this reminds me of that. Well, green was the the color of season one's champion, which was my team. Um, so that's why I'm always going to be partial towards that. Is you know, what team is that? The green team, season one, <laughs> green team. The green. Oh, season one. There, there was a while where we just went by colors. We didn't right. actually have names on teams. Oh wow. Goblins win the tip. Here comes Chief. And he oh, and it's almost awful. turns it over. It's off of Trayvon, it looks like. Lucky, because he threw it to the other team. He did. You and don't do like, that. Are the, are the Ghost Riders without a Von 2K? Yep, another turnover. It seems like it. Let's see how the Ghost Riders are going to do with that. But Ryan doing a good job finishing with the layup. Actually, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see not, uh, 2K Vaughn out of the game right now. He's like one of their main scorers. Dean! Nice Chan. box out from Chan there. That was really good box out. I love Chan's game. He's a big guy that plays physical on defense and then on offense he can hit from the three and it's so unassuming sometimes. I also think it takes a certain type of person to wear the uh, the white t-shirt under the color jersey and make it work, but Chan oh, does it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. I'm actually on the uh, on the texting machine right now with a former Selly Nation legend, Mike Ingersoll. Mm. Mike. I miss him. Mike, we all miss you. Nobody's seen you in literally years, years. at this point. Yeah. Um, come play next season. We'll see, Actually, hopefully we see at the wedding. Actually, uh, tries to score there, but instead draws the foul. You know, Mike has came up with an, a, a, an awesome combination of words of Chan and Axel. Chaxel, because oh. they play so well together. They're so dominant in the paint. They get rebounds, that and then when it comes to scoring, close. they're pretty. They're pretty solid too. Between them too. So, I, I like the Chaxel. Uh, Chaxel. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Mike has always been great at wordplay. He's a rapper. Uh, oh, yeah. You're, yeah, exactly. Very good at 0 that. for 2 from the free throw line. Here comes the number one overall pick this season, Joseph Vicente. He's been a really good facilitator as well, not just scorer. Here comes Chief. Going up with it and gets the sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Went up with it. While there was still somebody in the paint, did not care. To Kunshan. It's a little bit high up off the glass. The Goblins come up with it. Here comes Vicente pushing it up court. Finds Chief at the three point line. He shoots. Just short. Just short. Team captain goes with the rebound there. And here comes Vaughn. And there's Ryan hitting a three-point shot. Great play. You know, get into the paint, swing it out. Ryan takes one dribble to set himself. Easy shot for him. Yeah, Trey Way was looking. Oh, what an answer. <laughs> Trey was right in his face. And instead, it's Joseph scoring. Comes Trey, passes it to Ryan. She keeps it inbounds. Nah, he stepped out. Gator makes the call, says he's out of bounds. 
wow. Delay of game on Nick the ref. I'm trying to keep this going here. But he knows the Super Bowl's leader. He wanted to try to complete that pass. <laughs> Good pass to Ryan. Ryan taking it in to the paint. Now the foul himself. The Ghost Riders are a new franchise here, and Ryan's actually an important player here because he's got championship pedigree from three seasons. I don't know if he played all three seasons, but he played with the blue team with their championship teams. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you bring in a player that knows his role and knows how to elevate his team. It can really pull them together, be that adhesive that they need. Good shot. Always nice when somebody can just send to the free throw line and know they're going to hit the shot. Right. Also, side note, I haven't seen Dean in forever. So I only saw Dean pre full sleeve tattoo. <laughs> he makes it work. That's a good, that's a good look on him. Yeah. And apparently he's improved a lot these past couple seasons. Dean for three. There it is. He hits it from the corner. The reason he's got the tattoos on his right arm, it's a shooting arm. And he has one tattoo for every three-pointer he's ever hit. Oh, good poke by Chief and good finish by Vicente. Oh, that's offensive that's interference. That's the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bait Shop. Oh, it would have been, but the basket oh, doesn't count. Let's reverse that. Hey, still. That is that still a sweet finish. This is not a category, but that is the dumb play of the game brought to you by Dean. <laughs> the ball was in the hoop, and he cannot jump up and grab it before it goes in. Yeah. He was just showing out that he could dunk. That would have been. <laughs> Those pulls for a three-point shot doesn't hit. And Chef comes up with it. <laughs> what happened here? So one one ref called a backcourt violation. Sauce is saying he never made it into the front court to go backcourt. Mm, understood. So Referring is like art. It depends on who's looking at it. Mm. Now the goblins maintain possession. Chief looking to play make here. They got Dre at the three-point line. He's been a good player for them. That was a miss, but he's been a good solid player for them. The hustle, the hustle on defense. It's one of those situations you wish the middle curtain was down. That way he didn't have to go running that far. <laughs> you got Kyle King over here. Very oh, animated. Man. There's Chan doing what he does best. Taking it in and drawing the foul. Nice guy in real life. Bully on the basketball court. Huh. He could be a bully And sometimes in real can life. be deadly from the three point line. And in real life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here comes Trey. Pulls up. Great move. Can't just, quite hit there. Just not a lot of rhythm to it. That's the thing. That's a hard shot to pull off. It is very. A pump fake step through, a little floating shot. That's trying a, to go around the person, yeah. It's cool it's when it works. There goes your Vicente. Big board from Big I've been Red. Calling him, I've been calling him Joseph Vicente. It's actually Juan Vicente. I'm sorry about that. Probably going to hate me after this. Yeah, these two teams playing very aggressive. You can tell the Goblins want to maintain that uh, spotless record. Sometimes you come out a little too aggressive, you know? It's eight minutes into the game, neither team's at 10 points yet. Right. Ooh, big block. And here comes Trayvon looking for Ryan. Ryan under the basket. That's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Big Shot. Great reverse layup. You know what absolutely could change things? Ready to check in, Zane the Realtor. He's offense in a bottle. Zane Zaddy Burke. See, it's the way you say it. It's the way you say it. You can still say it. You can say it however you want. Uh, I'll stick to that way. Worst case scenario, just make it up. All words are made up. Goes and pass it. Scott 
Derry with the ball, pulls a three-point shot, misses. I will say this, the Goblins have a very vocal bench, and I don't know what any of them are saying. Yeah, I can't, I can't really tell either what they really want. There's a lot of words that's going out there, but I don't it's think it's like, like a cohesion to it. They just want to, to play, hard, like, play harder, I guess. I have a, uh, a four-year-old nephew that, like, basically when they tell you stories about what they learned in school, they just say everything, right? Like, they just learned every word, so they tell you every word. That's kind of like what this bench is currently. <laughs> I agree with you. I can't really tell what they want. Purple, Labradoodle, Pizza, Zane. <laughs> oh, and with that, I just want to let you know that we do buy houses, and we buy houses and mobile homes, any type and any condition. There's no equity. Well, then there's no problem. We work fast, use cash, and there's no nonsense. Up to a up to a thousand dollars if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. Go buy that house. Man. So far, not a super high scoring affair here in the first half. Nope, it's been an even game here so far. And I'm not sure who that benefits currently, because I'm not sure who's playing well. Ryan's playing well. To be honest with you, it's going to come down to the later basketball. I think the Goblins can take it. Just because of the depth. They have really good defense, really good offense as well. Except for right there. Yep. That's a steer. That's a turnover they do not need. Sean looking for Trayvon. Trayvon pulls it up. And Ryan hits again. He's doing Ryan's a good job of cleaning up. Yeah, cleaning up the mistakes. He's doing a good job at that. Veteran presence on a new team. Oh, good Oh, good steal. It looked like Trey poked at it and then actually tried to corral it. Either way, good defensive play. Now Treyway looking. Find Sean down in the paint. They're facilitating the ball good. They're trying to find an open shot. Good pass. Heck of a pass. Just didn't complete it. But you know what? It was a good look. Good look. The possession looked a little disjointed there, too. It felt like they were just waiting for somebody to do something. Right. There was no like actual play going on. Around the world. Brandon C. Dre pulls it three. It was almost Dre day. Not yet. Nice pass. Ziggy. They're calling the travel, but it didn't seem like he. From my angle, it didn't seem like he moved, but. Nick's got those eagle eyes, though, so he might have seen something that nobody else saw. Right, it happened so fast. Huh? Happens every time. Down on Dream Street. Great pass from Dre. Ooh, good take, and one! Yeah. And one! He's missed that a couple shots on offense, but he has, you know, made some nice passes there. That was a super good pass by Dre. That was probably the assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. Man, great play. It's good now. We good job. Ty, can't finish this one. Good board by Axel chasing that board down. That was really good. Good pass to to Treyway. Treyway finds Sean at the three. Good fake. Pulls it for three. Can't hit. That was a good job by the team captain, though. Spacing the floor a little bit, giving him somewhere to look at. The shot just didn't fall. Yeah, both these teams missing awfully a lot. You are shocked when Brandon Steed misses a shot like that. He is such a mid-range master. That's, he's such a good offensive player. But that's when you that's when you're able to get two defenses or, or two uh, teams that are very, very good. I mean, you're going to get that. You're going to get a very really defensive game. Might not be as high scoring. I can see this game coming down to the wire. Let's see, what do we got? Ryan finds Ziggy. Ooh, just hit. missed the shot. Brandon Steed bringing the ball up. Oh, 
the spread zone on the defense. Good pass to Zane. Zane finds Big Bird. Big Bird. That was a good that was a bird. <laughs> he's a big a bird, but he's a big bird. ostrich. He is a flightless bird. <laughs> It seemed like it was off balance there, a little bit kind of finish. Tyree with the ball, passed it to Juan, Juan passed it to Brandon. Brandon, there Brandon you gets go. the mid range shot. There's that mid range shot from Brandon, everybody knows. All right, One Hop to Shop. One Hop to Shop is the official home of All-Cell Nation League merchandise. This week, they had the first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, T-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Cell Nation League on Instagram to place your order. Excellent. Well, what we have here is a tie game, 12-12. Just under seven minutes left in the first half, so... Offense has not been easy to come by. It seems like each of them might be pressing a little bit, maybe a little disjointed, but I expect it to pick up a little more. We have 27 minutes left in this game. Right. There's still time. Honestly, I feel like not having 2K Vaughn on the Ghost Riders team is kind of slowing down the way they could score. Just, I mean, it's been... What, 12 12 for the past couple minutes, you know? Uh, missing your best players usually do hurt the team, but you know, they're lucky. Ryan's been playing a good game right now, so he's been kind of carrying their offense a bit. He's going to have to. Was that a foul at the three point line? A Axel commits the shooting foul on the three pointer. Oh. Oh, fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Missed it. Missed your moment there. When Sauce is repping, you gotta you gotta get him while he's yeah. got a second. Hey, still time left. Oh yeah. <laughs> Brandon hits the first free throw, and he's arguably the best shooter overall in the league. So you expect him to hit these free throws here. Of course, I jinxed that one. <laughs> I, I apologize to my former teammate, Brandon, on that one. It happens to me and my boys on 2K as well. We, uh, we were teammates on the Illustrious Reapers <laughs> last season. That season, that season never happened. Oh. There you go. Two for three from the free throw line. Not too shabby. All right, Trayvon with the ball. Taking it down, looking to see who's open, find Ziggy at the top. Taking it up. You know what, I that called him a defense. flightless bird earlier, but Big Bird got yeah, high on got, that he, one. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, oh, good pass by Big Bird. Oh, that's the assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. What a great pass by Big Bird. He might not be able to fly, but he could pass. Goes in for the reach, but doesn't get called on it. Ryan can't make that. A good tip out from Axel, though. Oh, almost lost the ball. Ryan comes back with it. Ryan finds Ziggy. Ziggy pulls from the three-point line, but that's the brick of the day brought to you by Zane the Wilson. Juan looking to call a play here and gave it to Brandon. Brandon now with the handles. Nice pass. Ty can't hit from the three point line. Big Bird trying to get the ball falls down and Trayvon converts. And asking for the foul at the end of it. Never a good strategy because the ref isn't going to just add that on. Right. It's not sales tax. <laughs> Zane. Can't hit the three, but Brandon's there to save it. Finds Vicente. Vicente with another three. Keep shooting those. I feel like, I feel like Vicente should keep shooting those. Absolutely, and I like the job that uh, Brandon Steed's doing, kind of moving the ball around. He could always look for his own shot, but he is trying to get others involved, and then he could take over later on. Goblin's coming in with 
Three new players off the bench. She heard the PA. Brandon. Checking into the game is Batman. Fan favorite, both <laughs> on the court and in the DC universe. <laughs> oh, big red jumper. That's what I was talking about. He's so dangerous from the three point line. Definitely the best celebration in the league. The best <laughs> celebration in the Selly Nation belongs to Big Red the Choo Choo Train. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Here comes Dean. Can't hit from the three-point line. But you know who completes the rebound is the Chaxel duo, as you mentioned earlier. Like that's what I'm talking about, man. They are a really good duo. Ghost. I'd swing it back around, try to get back to Big Red. He's a right. rhythm player. Right. You know, I you didn't hit like one. that shot. I didn't like that shot. I that was like... tough. Yeah. I think I think I think uh, Chan was open right here in the corner. Dean passes it up. Brandon has it. Ty doesn't get the friendly bounce. But again, the veteran Ryan coming out with the rebound. Huge game for him. Huge first half so far. Trayvon passes it to Axel. There we go. And now Chan has the ball, takes it in. Man, his game is so much fun to watch. You can take it in, shoot it from the three. You can do it all. He doesn't show up to any of our friends' social outings or anything, but he shows up every Sunday to play basketball. <laughs> What's up with that? Oh, gets an and one. And there, there's that vet, Brandon Steed. Brandon Steed. Much like Shrek, he's a noble steed. <laughs> Remember Donkey's transformation? I believe it was Shrek 2. I'm a noble steed. Correct on that one. All right. I feel like I jinxed him. This is my fault. <laughs> First off, I called him the best shooter in the league. Uh -oh. oh! Oh, they get the ball back, goes up with it, and <laughs> converts anyways. You know what? Ooh, look out, I might, have, I might have jinxed his shooting, but he's still one of the best players in the league. <laughs> Ryan pulls up for three. Can't hit. What's the, what's the call going on? Defensive what? Defensive three seconds? Defensive three seconds, okay. So now... Got a technical free throw here. So now the Ghost Riders have a free shot. And if he doesn't hit this, it has to be. Great free throw. Great free throw. Hey, Sauce, was there a foul here? Zane's calling out another 30, letting them know the time on the clock. Play hard. So the goblins right, they lead found, by one. They found Chan. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to go, and I was ready for that one. Oh, had that shot gone in, it would have been the big locomotive. Oh, the the choo -choo big train. locomotive. <laughs> that would have been. You let him hit three in a row? No, 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 no. No, yeah. Oh, Batman was wide open under the basket. He snuck away, used his utility belt, found a way to get a uh, sneaky open there. <laughs> here comes Ryan. Once again, looking to playmake here. Finds Trayvon from the three. He can't hit. Goblins come up with it. Oof, off balance. Good save by Batman. And, oh, I was about to say, yeah, we're in there. I didn't, even, I didn't even notice the, the neon lime green sneakers he's got going right now. Oh, man. Yeah, those are bright. It's, the, it's his bat signal. <laughs> yeah, those are super bright. Nice, though. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love it. It's a great outfit. Dre got the ball. Dre's taking it in. <laughs> Here comes Sean. Wow. Good transition. He got the ball and said, let's ride. He went one on three. And he still completed that. They probably couldn't catch him because he was a ghost. Dean looking to make a play here. 
Chiefs. I like, I'm not a big fan of Chiefs handles. He's really fast with the ball. Makes really good plays. Ooh. Batman. Ooh. Called a foul instead. You could hear the bench asking Green to just keep passing it around. I guess. Take your time. Yeah, you, this should be the last possession for the Goblin. Well, right? now, but they had 40 seconds or something when the possession started. Right. I feel like the thing that people forget when it's a lot of like amateurs. Look at Dean on that cut. Oh, man, that's a uh oh. Look out. That was very, very, very close to the play of the day. Right. That could have been and with that, we're going to head to our sponsors. This is Zane the Realtor. I'm your go-to guy for all things Central Florida here to make your Florida living dreams into realities. I'm all over the place. I'm going up north towards Ocala. I'm going west towards Lakeland and Tampa Bay. I check out homes out east towards Melbourne, Palm Bay. I'm checking out all the most beautiful homes and the best deals here in the Central Florida area. So if you're looking for a home, you know who to call. Zane the Realtor. I get buckets in the housing market and I get buckets on the basketball court. Please reach out to me. My information all over the screen here. Check me out on social media at Zane the Realtor. Let's go Goblins. And we're back with game three of week four of the season five of Southern Nation League against the Goblins and the Ghost Riders. It's been a very low scoring game, honestly. Why don't we have a whole second half to help this pick up? Let's see what they, what both teams did to adjust. Chan going up. Well, early foul call. Looks like a foul on the pass. Okay. You hear Zane the realtor in the uh, bench saying the calls don't matter. In sports, the calls very much matter. They very much matter. Yes. <laughs> very much. They can dictate where the game's going to go. Oh, three point shot by Ryan. He's the rookie and the vet, like Drake. Salaji, <laughs> right? Can the Goblins answer? If there's anybody that's gonna. Dean with a three-point shot. Nasty. Historically, Dean's one of the best shooters in the league. He had a little downturn for a season or two. I think it's uh, starting to pick back up, though. Yeah, when I saw him in game one, he was lights out. Good take by Vicente. Here they are. Goblins back to three-point lead. Trayvon. Trayvon with a three of his own. They're starting to trade back-to-back -back threes against each other. They said what scoring, Dre? <laughs> I actually got my handshake. See? There you go. <laughs> That's a, that's a legend of the league right there. You got a handshake by Sauce. Exactly. Just patience, man. Oh, good take by Juan. Give a shout out to Sauce. Quality ref, great team captain, excellent friend, the best escape room escaper that you'll come across in Central Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. I need him because I, I suck at escape rooms. I like doing them, but I suck at them. No, he, he, he and his uh, friends and family all do that for fun. They are excellent at escape rooms. I might have to hit him up then. Chan! With the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Bake Shop, someone was coming up from behind him, and he was able to finish. And he's slapping his hand as if he was showing how to discipline a puppy almost. <laughs> yeah. Like, it wasn't even a real, like, he was, get away from there. Yeah. He's a little more, a little more demonstrable usually. <laughs> That's not a word. It's Demonstrative. <laughs> she finds Dre. Dre just, dude. I feel like whenever it gets in the hands of Dre, he's just taking it in. Yeah. There's nothing else he's gonna do. He's just gonna take it in. It's always Dre Day. Dre Day. Still DRE. Score still tied, 30 to 30. Hey, there were, it was like 20-20 at half. It's now 30-30, uh, three minutes into the second half of this that's game. Not, that's not bad. A lot of scoring, very fast. Very fast. What they are doing is wasting time now, though. Oh, yeah, because clock is still rolling. Yep. Trey hits the first. 
I like Dre's shoes. All of the Goblin shoe game is strong right now. Yeah, very strong. They know this is on YouTube. You can get discovered by anybody. Good shot. It's two for two for the line. Puts him up by two. Yep. Now Ryan looking to pass it to Ashland instead to turnover. Heck of a play by Dre. Dean finds Juan. Juan oh. can't maintain control of the ball. Turns it over. Here comes Trey Vaughn. Fancy handles, but he's not looking up. He had three oh, people it, under the basket. It looked like more he was trying to maintain control that whole time. Heads up play by Ryan there, too. Oh, Ooh. I saw the play. That would have been a nice pass. I don't think Axel was ready for that. I was just getting ready to say Ryan saves his team a timeout by kind of teetering at a half court there. Right. And we have Brandon Steed looking to come in for Big Bird, Kev, uh, Kyle King. Man, I couldn't pronounce my key right there. That sounded like it's tough. Words are hard. That sounded like that Tom and Jerry uh, episode. The c -c 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 crambo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Warner Brothers. Shout out. Oh, Juan. Wanted to go down, but instead is saved by Dre. Dre looking at the top for Brandon Steen. Finds Dre in the corner anyway, and it's Dre Day every day. Second half has belonged to Dre so far. Dre with the assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. What do we got? You can't be throwing the ball into a crowd like that. And for, now it's a technical foul on the Goblins. Well, for two reasons on that one, right? Like or one on the Ghost Riders, I'm sorry. One, it's a matter of safety for the fans. Right. Two, we don't have another game ball. <laughs> we just can't be losing the ball like that. <laughs> yeah, no, not the game ball. No. <laughs> oh. Axel's mean bucket it. right <laughs> now. That's it. That's, that's it. Right. <laughs> You know, oh, there's gonna be great B-roll footage right there. Dude, Sway's got that one right there. I think he's like, oh, that might be a FaceTime. I don't know. We need that footage no matter what. I want to see it. Yeah, we will pay I royalties. Need to see it. By we, I mean Ash's Bake Shop. <laughs> Looks like they're about to play a game here. Let's go see if we could get this game back into action. Come Brandon, Brandon. Oh, Dean with the mid-range shot. It's a two. He's starting to step up. Good pass. Brian getting double team. Finds Ziggy. Ziggy finds Ghost. Ghost goes up with him, and him, but couldn't hit that one. So Comes Dean, up with the rebound. Ah. Dean is more than a shooter, right? But he does score the most of his points on jump shots. Right. So what do they need? Rhythm. So I agree. You know, gotta get him the ball when he starts hitting a couple of them, because Dean needs to keep shooting. And for the Ghost Riders, you can't be past. I mean, I feel like all those turnovers has come, have come be, because of like a short pass inside of a congested area. You're right. You got to learn how to pass out a little bit more often when you're in those compromising positions. Another three in the key call. Wow. I feel like collectively they can get together and just count to three and make sure, you know, nobody's in the paint. But. <laughs> You're right. That's actually a W strategy. Dre hits another free throw. Dean checks himself out of the game. I disagree with that. I think he's hit a couple too. of shots. Like, get in, build the lead. Yeah, don't, don't get yourself cold. You're just starting to heat up. Too nice of a guy. You gotta wonder though if the uh, if the thorn foot injury maybe is lingering a little bit, so he needs his rest. That could be it. It could be also a change of tempo. Yeah, he's running a lot. Yep. Oh, good Heck pass. Of a play. Assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Noble Brandon Steed. <laughs> Noble Brandon. <Steve. laughs> Looks like they uh, caught a timeout before that happened. Chan calls a timeout. He feels the game getting away from them a little bit. 
And sometimes my hair gets away from me a little bit. The Grooming Gallery. This is Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the Grooming Gallery to book an appointment. That's a hell of a segue. That's really good. Thank you. I've been practicing this whole time. <laughs> so he was always waiting for that I moment. was rusty in game one. Now I'm getting better <laughs> by game three. To wait for the one moment. <laughs> well, it's a 10-point game. Goblins firmly in control right now. Look at Dean coaching in mm -hmm. that huddle. Yeah, so you can see it's like in his his body language. You know what I'm saying? It, it that, that plays a big role. It's funny because like his body language, his face looks like he's asking questions. <laughs> yeah. But you know he's saying stuff. Like he's like, "Oh, are you sure you want to play like that?" Right. But he's coaching it up. He is, and he's playing off of. I mean, I don't, we don't know if that foot is 100. percent You know, how big was the thorn? I want to say the size of a labradoodle. Wow. Three inches. Which, which I hear is enough. <laughs> <laughs> to do damage. <laughs> to do damage. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna. This is a uh, this is a G-rated broadcast. So. <laughs> Ryan takes the ball out. Looks like it's gonna be out of bounds on Ryan. Ooh. It's a ten-point game. Goblins in the lead. And the Ghost Riders certainly feel like they're missing a player currently. Oh, yeah. If I haven't mentioned it, no. <laughs> He's like one of my favorite players. I said it in week one. He's my favorite player, 2K1. When I saw him in the uh, scrimmage games, I was like, wow, this guy's his play style is awesome. It fits everything that I like about a basketball player. What it helps, too, is just being able to give the ball to somebody and say, you could just we go in and you to He's one of those guys. Looks like Juan was uh, contesting a elbow to the face. Right and pass. Axel. And oh, one. Man. That was a great assist by Ghost, honestly. Nice finish by Axel. And now he's on the free throw line, ready to go. He knows clock's running right now. Dude, Sean threaded the needle to Axel. Caused that play to happen. They need more of that. The caped crusader entering the game. <laughs> I'm still rolling. Yep. Yeah. I said Axel got to the free throw line quickly, but it, I guess it didn't matter. But the Ghost Riders got the get rebound. right back and get two points instead. A four-point possession, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> the Goblins doing the exact opposite of everything that Dean asked them to do. Right. So the correct score is 34-40, so now it's a six-point game. Ten minutes left. There's a there's definitely time for either team to run away with it. The goblins just need to make every possession count here from here on out. Every possession. And that's a good like metaphor for life. Make every day count. Every moment. Every moment. Oh, there he is. See? They, you. They, they miss you. <laughs> they, I miss, I miss 2K. Too, they they miss you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Always in our hearts. You know, I don't want to play spoiler for uh, what looks to be a, a surprise coming up here, but I don't think that's La Familia's actual jerseys. No. They got alternative jerseys? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Big game 100. Big oh, game 100 for a team that hasn't been around the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, game 100, when you really think about it, actually, there's there's, there's only the blue team that's left. Because the, Re the Red Rangers turned into the Red Reapers, and... <laughs> yeah. I was going to say green-blue maybe should have been the 100th game. 
playing with a little bit more speed. Zane from the three-point line. Just a little short. You know what might be the issue there? Zane really hasn't taken any shots this game. That's It's, it's hard when you haven't shot. All the game, right. You can't seem to heat up. Good pass to Axel. Good finish. That's It's so crazy how he just, his head barely touches the ball and just goes up. Another and one. Another and one. At wow. this point, you just wonder why they why they even touch Axel anymore. Wow, man, it's just crazy. It's crazy how he just put that up and went in like that. <laughs> it looked wild, but wow, and makes it. All of a sudden, now that commanding ten point lead is now down to three. It's tenuous. It shows you how fast everything can change. Chief. Looking to get those back, but instead, no. oh, Batman can't come up with the ball. Uh oh, he did actually. Oh, what a Stepped move. into that shot. Bang from the three point line. It's a great play. Uh oh, oh bad pass by Trayvon. A little too high on that pass. A little too high. Taking Zane out. I don't think Zane Pretty likes it. The look on his face says, I shouldn't have been subbed out. Right. The thing is, he can't heat up. He, he, he can't get anything going. You got to leave him in there, you know, to warm up a little bit. But Juan hits another one. Two, Two in threes row. in a row. You know, he's in the running right now for I think he could end up at the end of the day being the platinum player of the week. Nice oh, answer man. there. Nice answer. <laughs> and that's brought to you by Chris Galco. Oof. Good pass. Chris. If Juan hit that, that would have been great. Excellent effort by both Big Bird and Axel on that one. Somebody had to win, though. Who's Ryan with the ball? Pass it to Ziggy. Can't hit the three, but the putback is unsuccessful. He kind of let that pass a little too much. Still anybody's game. A little over seven minutes left. Go Shires are going to need a good possession here. I know there's a lot of time left, but... Good mid-range shot. And one. And one. That might have been the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. I want to see a replay of that one. That was good. Also, Dean puts himself back in the game. He knows it's time to bring the lead back up. Oh, yeah. Because it's only down to a three-point game again. It's, it's you know it's time to it's time to close this one out. <laughs> Big Bird with the layup. Good way to finish on that one. He spreads his wings and he flies right into two points. <laughs> Pass to Trayvon. Trayvon jab steps, pulls the three, splashes it in. Oh, oh, nah, that was a friendly little bump, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's what happens. The game gets a little bit closer and the bumps get a little bit harder. Oh, yeah. And the drives get more insane. That has to be a sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. This time it's an and one on the Goblin side. Chief's been around this league for a long time now. One of the best point guards we've ever seen. He knows how to close a game now. Right, he's a tough. He's a tough player. Successful on the three-point play. Now what the Ghost Riders need to not do is fall into the trap of we need to match three for three. Right. Still plenty of time left. No plenty. need to force up plenty shots. Plenty of time. Just like you said, it's a great play. They find the open man. Right. You hit the, the two, it's still a one possession game. That's it. Just keep those cuts going. Oh, they're fighting. Fighting for the rebound. Ends up in the Goblins' hands. 
You gotta like the height from Big Bird causing that to happen. And another three for Juan. Oh my goodness. He's hot. You also need to stop them from scoring, though, if you don't right. want to trade twos for threes. Because soon enough, you're going to have to make, make it into that battle. Yep. Look, still a four point still game, four five point minutes game. left. Chief finds Big Bird, but it just slips right out of his hands. Ghost coming in, taking Chana. I think Ch I, I don't like that. He might just need a breather. They might bring him back in. You're but right, Chan, right, Chan's a big guy. He. Uh, I mean, Chan said, "Come on, man." That's what he said when, when he pulled him out. I don't think he liked that decision either. Oh, Chan would play 42 out of 40 minutes every game <laughs> if you let him. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. Sometimes you just need to give him a breather. That way, he can come down strong for the last two minutes. It's good analysis. Oh, Brandon Steed with the steal goes up with it. Can finish, but Juan is there to finish. And that's why you run with your teammate. Dude, Juan is just so fast. Dean oh. can't hit the three. I say slow the ball down. Slow it down, slow it down. They're just kicking the ball everywhere oh, right are. now. Ziggy finds Trayvon. Trayvon finds a ghost. Good sidestep. Couldn't hit on that one. That might be the brick of the day. Brought to you by Weebot. It's ain't the real term, mother. <laughs> Oof. I like that move by Ryan right there. Grab the ball and say, hold on. Yep, a second. slow it down. Bobby Valentino, slow down. <laughs> Trayvon uses the screen to try to hit a three, but unsuccessful. That actually might be where not having Chan in the game might have hurt you a little bit because there's nobody in the paint looking to rebound. Right. And, and like I said, that Chaxel combination makes it really hard to get a rebound. Yep. Now the Goblins can play the perimeter game and look for their shot. Chief's taking it in. Finds Brandon Steed. Hits a midi. Can't, can't, can't hit right there. I definitely owe him an apology. <laughs> this has to be my fault. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great good pass. cut. Good cut by Axel. Good pass by Ryan. And now it's a six point game. So, really, it should be a four point game now. Yeah. They right, should yeah, be. They haven't updated the scoreboard yet. Yep. Three minutes left in this game. Goblins up by four. Goblins need to milk this clock. Especially if they want to stay undefeated. They have the ball right now. All you do is keep getting good shots. That's it. You know, this is a big game for the Ghost Riders as well to prove something. You know, to prove that they could be a really good, a really good team. And it'd be an even bigger statement if they came back and won it down the stretch. So this is where it's bold right now. Dean, I feel like, should have himself in this game. Reliable shooter. Ball handler a little bit. But... He's being a selfless captain, which is very tough to do. Good pass to Dre. Dre looking for the other man. Fine I like sheet. it. They just changed sides of that court so quick. Oh, man. The ball movement's really throwing the Ghost Riders off and creates a foul. When the ball's constantly moving you and you constantly have head snapping around, it's really hard. They should do that more. It is hard to play defense for 40, 50 seconds at a time. Big Bird with the coaching on the sideline. They want to bring that pressure. Dean is enforcing that. He's saying, you know, let's keep that pressure up. You know, let's keep moving forward. So that puts the Goblins up six points here with two minutes left. Good pass. Would have been the assist of the day, but man. Nice play, though. You know, getting into the paint. Mm -hmm. Because they're still not even at the point where they have to force three pointers. That's two good possessions, play a little defense, do a little dance, and then get down tonight. <laughs> but 
starts with hitting these free throws. One for one. It's totally random, but you know what movie comes into mind after you say when you're saying that song? Flubber. Remember that one? Well, while we're watching the green team play, so why not think of Flubber? <laughs> two for two. Nice. Four point game, just under two minutes left. Oh, what a pass all the way down. Ooh, Brandon. Brandon Steen, the IQ. He, he heard the footsteps behind him and faked it. That was great. Veteran. Veteran play right there. Nobody's checking the back. Uh, Chan using that pivot foot. Oh, they turn the ball over. Now the Goblins. You can hear the green team's bench screaming, hold the ball. Slow it down. Shoot the clock up, basically. I've never heard the word hold scream so loud since Game of Thrones. Juan with another three-point shot. Hold not hit on that one. There was actually zero reason to take a three-pointer there. Zero. Maybe less than zero. Good pass from Axel, just oh, not smoke. such a good finish for Sean. I'm gonna go ahead and say that is a candidate for Brick of the Day, brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Hold the ball. Right. They might want to start fouling now. Yeah. All right, well, Man, the, the, speed, the speed coming off the goblins is crazy. All of them are just very fast. If the Ghost Riders don't want to continue to play this game, they could just say so, but at some point they got to foul. So they call the timeout, so it should be a good time to talk about the grooming gallery. This is Orlando's premier barbershop where artists meet grooming. Morris is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is a perfect spot for you to get your next haircut, so shoot them a DM at The Grooming Gallery to book your appointment. Speaking of grooming, Dean came into this league a raw prospect. I think a seventh round draft pick in season one. People knew of his talent, but I don't know if they really believed in him. You know what it takes? A good coach to groom you into the captain you are today. Whoever his season one captain was that helped instill the championship pedigree, hats off to you. <laughs> hats off to you. <laughs> Look at that. He's going to close out this game and keep his team undefeated right now. The young IQ right now. Some people value EQ over IQ, but in this case, <laughs> IQ is what you need to end this game. <laughs> Smart plays. Keep the ball in their hands. Mike, Mike almost interfered with the game right there. But. Franchise playing defense, too. Not even in the game. Man, Mike is running all over the place. <laughs> All right, now might be the time to shoot a three-pointer. Right. Yeah, I would also fail potentially if I was the green team. Makes it in. Trayvon with a clutch shot. 26 seconds left. It's a three-point game. Wow, they sandwich. They sandwich Tyreek right there. Oh my goodness. Is he okay? I don't know. <laughs> he is okay. It seems. He might be okay, but do you think he'll ever be the same? <laughs> I think so. Oh, it is not one and one yet, is it? I believe not. There, that is the first foul in the last two minutes. And they didn't have the requisite amount of fouls beforehand. Oh, this is who I would have to have the ball, Dre. Oh, they come up with a steal. They call timeout. W, w move by Ghost. W move by Ghost. Call the timeout. Didn't let them do whatever they were trying to do over there, trying to get the ball back, but he called timeout. So it's a, it's a very, very delicate moment of the game there where you're up six points with like 40 seconds left. 
you almost would rather have fouled them and let them try to make two free throws at a time because this is what it leads to. You know, everybody has a different philosophy on these basketball games, but you almost think that maybe it was better to foul and not let them get the three-pointer off. You know, you're right. So they'll be looking to do that for sure. Some people have a different philosophy. They might say, let's just play good defense and have them miss the shot. But right, right. But then that could that could also lead to them making a shot, the same shot that you should probably have fouled well, them on. Yeah. That's the situation you find yourself in right now is they made the shot, and then you turn the ball over. Now they have a chance. This is where I personally would foul. Right, you're up by three. They can only shoot two, and then you just hold the ball for the rest of the game. Only so much time to come off this clock here. I mean, I, I would just play the foul game back and forth. Don't even give them the opportunity to get a three off. And I'm pretty sure they've been better on the free throw line than the, than the Ghost Riders either way. And that's a big steal from Dre. Goes up with it and gets the foul. Man. They had a chance. It's always and Dre it's, Day. And it's an immediate turnover. And now Dre has a chance for two. Wow. What a game defining moment right there. And you feel the Ghost Riders. That's it, probably. That one hurts. Yep. That, that's probably the, the game the dagger, yep. right there. Can if he makes this one, it's definitely a dagger. It ain't over till it's over, but it, it feels pretty close to over. That might have been the dagger right there. That extends the lead. Uh-oh, look out. That's definitely it right there. One point three seconds left. Goblins ball. Well, it sure looks like the Green Green Goblins from the Green Green Dean will continue its undefeated season, going four and zero now. Great game all around. Honestly, that game was all about IQ. What an exciting finish! Thank you guys for joining us here for Game Three, but join us for next for our next game, the hundredth game in Selling Nation regular season history.